Welcome to my quick 5 minute tutorial on retexturing hair using something as simple as a gradient. Uh, this tutorial is going to go over the basics of texturing and UV maps in Blender. So if you don't know what either of those things are, you're in the right place. So um, I'm going to assume that you've created your, your model and it has hair. Otherwise, I don't really know why you'd be here. But for example purposes, I will be using this TDA hair edit by Luminara, uh, and you can find the link to their DeviantArt page in the description of this video. Uh, but I'm going to assume that you already have your model set up and you're just here for texturing purposes. And please do make sure that if you're going to actually upload something to VRChat or put something on a model, that you have the rights to use it. So before we actually put the texture on our hair, we have to make the texture. So I'm in Photoshop, you can use whatever program you'd prefer. Uh, and I've made an 128 by 128 square. You can use whatever size. I'd recommend starting smaller unless you know what you're doing. So our texture is actually really simple. We're only going to use the gradient tool to make it. So I'm going to open up the gradient tool and make a gradient. And I found fewer colors tends to look better. So let's just do a two color gradient. Really easy. Okay, we have our gradient. So let's use our gradient. Color in that square. And this might not be enough color variation for everybody, so what I'm going to do is make a new layer, take the current layer, cut it in half like that, and now I can put whatever I want over here. So for this half, let's make a very similar but slightly darker gradient. You can use whatever combination you think would look good. Alright, we have our texture, so let's export it as a PNG and head right over to Blender. Alright, now that we're in Blender, let's begin texturing our hair. If you click on the object, check the Materials panel, which is this little sphere down here, you can see all of the different materials currently assigned to the object. You might have one, you might have multiple, you might have none, especially if you make it yourself. Let's start by separating anything we don't want to be affected by the material changes. If you hit Tab to enter Edit Mode, you'll notice a new panel pops up in the Materials window. This lets us select each material individually. Click on the material that you don't want to be affected by the swap, in our case the hair tie, and click on select. All the vertices will then be selected of that material. We can hit P to separate by selection, which makes it so this object is no longer a part of the other objects. Now back on the hair that we do want to change, we can remove all the materials by clicking the minus sign. Notice how the hair lost its material but the tie still has its. It's not affected by any of the changes we just made to the hair. Now it's time to bring in our texture. Hit New in the Materials panel, re-enter Edit Mode by hitting Tab, hit A to select everything, and hit Assign to assign this material to this mesh. It looks like nothing happened, but what we just did is we told this material to apply to all of these vertices. Now it's time to work with the texture we just created. You can hit the yellow circle, select Image Texture, and then click Open and find your texture. Your image is not going to look the way you want it to immediately. In order to fix the way that the image looks on our model, we'll have to go to UV Editing. On the left side of your screen, you should see your texture. If you don't, you can select it from the Image dropdown. On the right side of your screen, you should see your model. On the right side of your screen, you should see a preview of your model. If you hit A to select all vertices, you'll notice that islands appear on the left. The position of these islands on the texture affect how the texture looks on the model. We need to reposition these islands so the texture looks the way we want it to. To start, I'd recommend dragging everything off of the texture just to get it out of the way. Hover over an island and hit L on your keyboard to select all linked vertices. You can then scale, rotate, or move it around like normal. Unless you really know what you're doing or you want to reproject your islands later, don't make anything overlap. After you verify that everything is to your liking, you can go back to the main layout and export or continue working on your model. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope it helped. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a comment. Until next time, signing off.